Hey there, my beautiful babies. Welcome to your April reading. So today we're taking a look at your love life and your career. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It is not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, you can check your individual signs, Leo and Virgo's reading. Um, but if it does, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share. Anything you can do to support this channel is really appreciated. And uh, what else? Private readings, the link is down below. Over on Instagram, we have weekly messages, all right? So, with that being said, let's see what we have for you. Let me just pull some romance angels. And I'm actually really curious to see where this reading goes. Because I was picking up on a lot of different messages. And the thing was... Um, okay, let me just... All right, yeah. All right. Okay. It's actually good. All right. Good. So, um... What I was picking up, I was seeing like this beautiful girl um, standing on a balcony and looking ahead. And ahead, th there was like sort of a field. It wasn't really ocean. It was like a field. Uh, and the sun was setting. So what I get from there is like with with the balcony, um, that could actually means um, that could actually mean success at work. Okay. Uh, I also feel like it's spiritual protection. I feel like you're protected by your spirit guides and whatever action you're taking next and whatever chapter is happening in your life, it is being guided, it is being protected and it's it's happening for you, okay? And I actually feel like it's a pretty positive one. And with the sun setting, I feel like there's a big ending that's happening and I don't feel like it's the end of a relationship. I don't feel like it's the end of a career because, like I said before, success at your work, right? Um, but I definitely feel like it's the end of a big chapter where I feel like there was a lot of tension and sadness. And I, I don't know, I just feel like you're so mature now. Because, like, I, I see that girl, like, looking at the sun, sunset and being like, look at how far I've come. Look at the person I was one year ago and look at the person I am now. Like I'm so different and I'm so proud of myself for being where I am today. And I kind of feel like that's the vibe that we're getting here. It's the end of a very long process for you to become the person you're meant to be. And I definitely feel like you're, you're in tune with your self-worth. You're just, you're getting things and you're attracting things that are in alignment with you. You're creating things that are in alignment with you. It's, I really feel like you are, you're growing up, basically. You're growing up. Look at you. Okay, so uh, in regards to career, we have your music and, oh my God, come here. Okay, and come together. Okay, so I kind of feel that... There may be this need of asking for help and it doesn't, I don't feel like it's help from a human being. Um, I feel like it's help from your guides. Because right now you may feel like, I feel that I am on the right path, but am I on the right path? And if you ask, if you are on the right path, music, okay? You may randomly see music on YouTube. You put your favorite playlist on shuffle and see what song comes up and that is a message for you from the spirit guides okay because with this music you're receiving um you're receiving messages through music and actually this part here of uh, music can lift your soul rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door the rekindle memories is really um coming out to me where i feel like the music um the, the song that you may get it may not be in regards to where you're going. It's in regards to where you were. And it is because it's what you need to hear. It's not what you want to hear. I don't feel like you'll gain an answer of, yeah, you're on the right path. You're going to be a freaking ass, grown up, rich person. I feel like you're gonna, the message you're going to receive is, this was you. This is, you're not that person anymore. And I've, I really feel like, the universe doesn't want to, universe, God, whatever you want to call it, your guides, um, they really don't want you to know where you're going. <laughs> they really don't want you to get, not, it's not about not getting excited. It's, they want you to get excited for yourself because of yourself and not because of what they show you and not because of what they tell you. They want you to 
find the excitement in where you are. They want you to be excited, okay? When it comes to love, past life relationship, forgiving and learning and attraction, okay? So I definitely feel like there's something that you've been manifesting and um, I feel like you could have been manifesting this on purpose, but I feel like you were just manifesting it, period, because of your self-care, because of your self-love, the things that you were giving to yourself. I feel like you were starting to really do a selection of, yeah, this does not align with me. Oh, this does align with me. And because of that, you're attracting this really beautiful relationship with this forgiving and learning. Um, it could be someone from the past. I'm just, I kind of feel like you're letting a cycle and a pattern and a chapter of the past in the past and starting something completely different. Okay. This is a past life relationship. So it's really intense. Um, and even if it is someone from the past, it's different. It's a new relationship. Also, because I feel like you're both new people. You're both so different from who you used to be that it's not going to be the same relationship. It's not going to be the same way as it was. And I really feel like that is such a beautiful energy here. So beautiful. Because I really feel like you're getting to this point where you're not afraid of saying no. And I feel like in the past you were. I feel like in the past you would... Uh, not that you would date a lot of people just out of fear of saying no, but I feel like you would not see toxicity or you would feel, um, you would think that toxicity was normal, you know, that it was just what it was. And I feel like now you're seeing the red flags, you're seeing toxicity, you're seeing whatever, and you're leaving it. You're saying, I don't like that, I'm not taking that into my life, you know? And because of that, I do feel like really positive things are happening. Oh, look at you with the hermit. Your Virgo side really, oh, okay, really being present here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups, yeah, Five of Cups, Three of Swords. It, it's almost like I was in the gut. I was in the lowest point in my life. And now look at me all successful and King of Pentacles, so abundant. Definitely the end of a cycle. Now I feel confident. Now I feel confident in who I am and what I have. The wheel is definitely turning. And it, it, you're so different. This is giving me really... I, who, I think it was Aquarius. Yeah, like Aquarius was like creating a whole new life for themselves. And I feel like you are not creating the whole new life for yourself. I feel like you already created. And now you're already in the new journey. And you're looking back and just like wow wow you know so let's see in the past for your career we have tower we have the knight of swords i was actually picking up on the tower in your premeditation um and um the knight of swords for your current situation and the three of wands for um april whatever you want you got it that's why like the three of wands is a manifestation card that is why this thing here of like, you're going to receive the message you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Because I feel like you want answers. You want signs. You want confirmation. You're not getting it. <laughs> Sorry. You're not getting it. You're getting proud. You're getting pride for from the universe. Okay? And you are the universe and your guides are like, be proud for yourself too. Okay? Right now, you're really moving things forward with that Knight of Swords. And in the past, I really feel like things went crumbling down in a very positive way. Because, I mean, the tower, it's always a good crumbling down. Because it's crumbled down, um, things are not good. It, it crumbles down things that are not meant for you. Sometimes you may feel like they are, but they are not. And I, here in the past, I really feel like that happened and... Things that were not for you, just you possibly changed careers, you could have lost a job. And now I feel like you're really on this path of following your dreams and manifesting your ass off, the things that you want. All right, so let's see here in love. We have the nine of wands for the past star, yeah. And king of cups for April. For you, we have the six of swords, ten of pentacles, wow. Well, your person is quite abundant here, huh? 
Um, but more than that, I definitely feel you could be dealing with, well, wow, okay, so there's that Aquarius energy. Um, that I was mentioning from the Aquarius reading, so you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but, um, and with this Virgo, you may actually be interested in Virgo reading, okay? But, maybe not. <laughs> we, I do feel like this person, more than being abundant and focused on their career, I feel like this person sees the Ten of Pentacles with you. They see the potential. And with this King of Cups, really beautiful energy of like, you know what? I love you and I want this with you. And I feel like there's this really like movement forward with emotion in the past. I feel like there wasn't, I, I feel like there was emotion, but there wasn't a lot of emotion discussed. And so I feel like now you're both healing that. I feel like you're both healing your throat chakras and your heart chakra and really being open to express love and really being open to work on things and making things happen. And because of that, I do feel like you're coming together into union. Okay? And again, this doesn't have to be an ex. This could be like you separately were mirroring each other and were, uh, you both were blocked when it comes to showing your truest selves and you both were blocked when it comes to expressing love and expressing emotion. And you both were healing that at the same time. And now you're making this happen, this beautiful thing happen, that's so cool, okay, so, let's, uh, oh, and as I look at the clock, 1144, look at that, that's pretty cool, synchronicity over there, um, but let's clarify some stuff, let's see, I am curious about that tower, all right, moon, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, uh, with the fur with the Hermit here again. Uh, I kind of feel that you had no freaking idea what was happening. <laughs> it's like, um, even if it changed jobs, it possibly was really sudden, or it, it, I think it was really sudden. Like you were working on something for quite some time, and then all of a sudden, oh, you know what? That's not for me. Let me just change thing. J let me just change career really quickly, and it was the right choice. If that is the confirmation that you need, you got it here. It was the right choice because I feel like this, where you're going now, speaks much more to you, especially with this Virgo energy of the hermit. It's like, I just see you, it's like that balcony of spiritual protected. It's, I just see you so aligned with who you are. And so there's no wrong step here. I really have to tell you, there's no wrong step that you could take because you're so aligned with your inner knowing, you're so in line with who you want to be, with the things you want to create, that you're just attracting it automatically. And that's why that self-care and that self-love and the worthiness is so important, is because you're listening to yourself. You're really listening to yourself. And God, I'm really, really proud of you. This is so amazing. Let me see that Knight of Swords. I, it, this could be something where you're now, could be something where you help other people. A lot of careers help other people, but um, I don't know, something of service. Because I feel it could also be around nature, but it, I, I just feel like it, it, it resonates with that Virgo side. The Virgo side is very caring and very nurturing, and it, it is of service. It's the sixth house. Um... And I feel like you were definitely aligning with that. So, and especially with this come together, could be you going to help other people. Okay, but let's see. We have the two of pentacles, judgment, five of pentacles, five of cups. I feel like you are moving forward, but at the same time, you're like, no, I made the wrong decision. Look at this. Things are not happening. I, 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 I so regret my decision because I'm not rich. I have so much to do, and I don't know if I'm going okay, and everything, and you're thinking too much, and you're not breathing, and you're not feeling, and you're not leaving, okay? Because you are aligned. Do not doubt the decisions. Again, there is no wrong step, okay? There is no wrong step. You really are on an amazing path. Look at this. Look at freaking this. You have you walking your own path, okay? Creating amazing friendships, creating uh, or improving the friendships that you already have. I feel like right now you're giving a lot of value 
to the friendships that you have. It's not in terms of help. It's in terms of support. It's in terms of making you feel happy and making you feel loved. You're creating that community too with your career. So possibly attracting a lot of uh, people from your soul tribe, attracting a lot of good clients, a lot of good co-workers. You're communicating with your soul. This lovers is so beautiful because your divine masculine and divine feminine are so in balance. And let me tell you, your Leo and your Virgo side, I know that we're talking a lot about Virgo, but with this um, lovers, this is also your cusp. Okay, not literally, but it's symbolizing your cusp with the uh, feminine and the masculine. That is in balance. That is why things are happening for you. You're moving things with your heart and that creates so much love for what you do. And that is what needs to move you forward. Okay, really believe in yourself. Do not doubt. Let me see that three of wands. King of swords. Oh my God. What is this? What is this? Oh, gosh. So, we were just talking about lovers. How it's the divine feminine and divine masculine. They were perfectly balanced. And we get the king of swords and the queen of swords. Masculine and feminine balanced. What does that create? Manifestation is coming pretty damn quickly, by the way. But also, independence. Okay, more than independence, it's it's not independence in the sense of financial independence and everything. It's independence in you being who you are, independence in you feeling happy with the things that you have. It's independence in gratitude of you feeling like you have enough. You don't need anything else because you already have so much. That is where that looking back and feeling proud of yourself comes in. If you're not feeling proud of yourself, I want you, don't pause the video, watch the video to the end. But by the end of the video, I want you to go grab your journal, write a list of all the things you are proud of yourself. Write a list, write a, a letter to your previous self, to your past self, to the person you used to be. Write a letter to your current self and really like... It's, I, f I really feel like there is so much for you to be proud of because you've grown so much. I really feel like here you were very people pleasing. You were doing something that I don't I feel like you never really knew how to do anything else. And as you started to go into that Queen of Pentacles, you started finding yourself. That is the most beautiful thing ever. So really be proud of yourself. I feel like month of April. There is a lot of blessings coming in, but more of that, it's about being grateful, it's about being proud, and that does attract, that does manifest, okay? That does create beautiful things. So, and again, I'm not, like, I'm not even getting any information about what kind of blessing, is there a blessing, what is happening? I'm not getting any of that, because it's not in my job to, to I mean, kind of is my job, but... Uh, it, I'm not in a place that I'm being specifically asked to not look at that, to not tell you any of that, because you're not supposed to know. And, you know, I have this theory that when that happens, it's because you, like, you could start overthinking and being like, the thing that could be the blessing is like, you're going to receive $1 million and you're going to be like, that's sure, right? Like if that would happen, the universe doesn't want that. The universe wants you to be grateful and be proud of yourself. It wants you in that self-care, self-love um, place. So you, when you receive it, you're like, oh my God, okay, I was not expecting this, but I mean, if I have it, it's because I deserve it and I'm going to accept it. They want you in that place. They don't want you in the, sure, Okay, so be freaking proud of yourself. What is the potential here in the long run? Four of Cups, King of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Wow, wow. Transformation, big ass transformation where um, you are leaving this Four of Cups of not feeling enough. You're leaving this Four of Cups of fear of disappointment, fear of, I don't know, letting other people down. You're letting all that away to create this beautiful four of wands, king of pentacles, a lot of stability, a lot 
of, well, independence, abundance, and a very strong, solid ground for you and for your career, okay? Especially if you own a business, it's a very, very wealthy, abundant business and grounded business, okay? So this is taking longer than I expected. All right, <laughs> but let's clarify here just some things really quickly. Um, I do want to see this King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, wow, Ten of Cups, Tar, dude, 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 oh my god, I was, I was going to say, I wish I was legal for you, but unfortunately I am, <laughs> but we have here, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Star, it's Star again, like, your wishes are coming true. Like, whatever you want in a relationship, you have it. And I feel like your job right now is to really figure out what do you want in a relationship, okay? What do you want to create? What is the Ten of Cups for you? What is your happily ever after? And that is going to attract, okay? This attraction card, it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I feel like it's all also about looking into the present moment and seeing all the, that gratitude, right? Seeing all the beautiful things, beautiful relationship, that friendship that, that, that showed up, looking at all the love that you already have in your life and really looking at this relationship specifically and wherever it is, being grateful for it being there. Because if it's stagnant, it's stagnant for a reason and it's stagnant for you to heal. If it's moving, be grateful for, its mo for it to be moving. If it is a friendship, be grateful for the friendship that you're creating. If, you know, just be grateful for wherever you are, all right? Let me get some more uh, information around your Six of Swords. Oop, okay, gosh. Oh, that's too many. But we, the King of Pentacles wants to, okay, come out. And we also have the Tower and Hierophant. I feel like you're standing up for yourself. I feel like in the past, it's that thing, you could have been very... Um, kind of Virgo-ish, where you were, uh, and that's why I feel like you are so balanced in your cusp, it's because career, it's total Virgo, um, love, I feel like you are more in a Leo, where you're more out there, you're more assertive, and you're like, this is what I want, if you can't give it to me, being a little bit selfish, uh, if you can't give it to me, then I'm out, you know, I feel like you're really in this make it or break it, you know, and because of that, Hierophant, commit a relationship. Look at that. Okay? So let me see this Ten of Pentacles. So we have... Whoops. Okay. Um, oh, wow. That's pretty good. Uh, we have the Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords, and Emperor. And this Ten of Swords is really relevant because... Um, I feel like this person may not feel like worthy of you or I feel like they still have a lot of um, limiting beliefs and mindsets and all that is being transformed, okay? I feel like they are starting to believe in the things that they want with you and they are empowering themselves. I kind of feel like you're forcing them to empower themselves a little bit um, and they're putting an end to a, a big cycle for them, okay? So... Let's see here. You could also be dealing, by the way, with a... We have a Sag, Aries, Taurus. But I kind of feel like... Mm, yeah. I feel like it's mainly uh, Aquarius, definitely. Um, Sag and Aries, okay? But it doesn't have to be. It can be any sign. But what is the potential outcome here? Hermit. <laughs> How many Hermits have, have we... Gone. So, Hermit, Two of Pentacles, and Judgment. And what I get from that is that, oh, and look, two, uh, Nine of Cups over there. So, a lot of wish fulfillment. And what I get from that is that um, I really feel like your energies are super balanced. And has it's like whatever you're learning now, you're learning it for you, the rest of your life. Like, how to balance your energies and this like standing up for yourself and knowing how when to pull back, knowing when to affirm yourself, all of that is a big and important lesson for you moving forward. And I really feel like this person, I mean, judgment, you're definitely in past life relationship, 
definitely a strong connection and you're definitely being pulled towards one another. You're definitely being guided in this connection. And I also feel like there's this really cool thing about like um, when they're not seeing something, you push them to see it. When you are not seeing something, they push you to see it. So there's this very like um, growth kind of energy within each other. And I also feel like th there's this thing of like you wanting to spend a lot of time at home and doing God knows what. Um, but there's this like, uh, more than that, I really feel like you'll feel like home to one another. And I just, I, I really feel like this relationship is really healing and it, it has a really nice potential where I definitely feel like you're ending a lot of cycles, a lot of closing a lot of chapters that needed to be closed. Oh, look at that. Where by your side wants to come out. Um, but let's pull some messages and advice here for you from the universe. Wow. Okay. Anything else? So we have over here, wake up and go now. You can do it. Speak up. So there's that thing. It's like, dude, go. We're finishing this off. So I told you, wait till the end. Go grab that journal. Go grab that notebook. Write those freaking letters, okay? It's time for you to have a conversation with yourself where you're really proud and you show yourself how proud you are and how far you've come, okay? And know that you can do anything, okay? Whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you want moving forward, manifest it and know that it will be your reality. If you want to have a million dollars in your bank account, manifest it knowing that it will be your reality, that is why you are being asked to be proud of yourself and to get into that gratitude place. It's for you to know your potential, okay? For you to really see it, all right? And don't be afraid to do it. So what else do we have for my Leovardos? So we have internal factors, free like a bird, and look at your shadow. Um, I definitely feel that this look at your shadow, I really feel like it's talking about that thing of you pushing one another to see the shadow of the other and very reflective, um, mirrored kind of energy. And I feel like you're being asked to do that now, okay? You're being asked to really stand in that Leo, King of Wands kind of energy to really push this person to assume this emperor position because I feel like otherwise it would be in this page never really believing in themselves and never really trying to make, trying to feel worthy of you, trying to feel worthy of having a loving relationship. And also with this forgiving and learning and feel like a bird, if anything happened in this relationship or in previous relationships, if anything happened, let it go. Okay. It's time for you to look at the past too a little and heal it. All right, kind of feel like there's something else here for you. Okay, you are not alone. Is there anything else? Okay, I, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's it. So, trusty spirit guides in the universe. We have over here, um, you are not alone. So, come together. Okay, friendships. Allow, also, allow yourself to have fun. All right, especially with this, I love me. Keep an open mind. Keep an open door to the universe to receive whatever you want to receive, okay? It's up to you to believe in it, to believe in this connection, to believe in yourself, to believe in your career. Be freaking, freaking proud, okay? Be freaking proud. My God, I'm so proud of you. Okay, so Leo Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped. I really do hope it resonated because that would be awesome. Um, but if it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget the private readings, the link is down below. And I will see you in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.